Hi, I'm Terry Smith from Cooper Tyres. Over the years we've been asked the question over and over again, how do I reduce damage or how do I stop getting punches in my four-wheel drive tyres? So we decided to conduct a test and show you how to do that. So first of all we started with four tyres. We've got two of the toughest Coopers we can find. One's a Cooper Shore Track, which is a light truck construction carcass. The other is a Cooper STT Armatec. Now this is the one with a cover ply over the belts. It's 33% stronger than any other tyre on the market. So we knew these two would be tough. But that's not comes on all four-wheel drives. So we decided to go and look at original tyres. Bridgestone All-Terrain comes on Nissan Patrol Standard. Dunlop Grand Track comes on 2 out of 100 series. They're both passenger construction versus light truck construction. We know there's going to be a difference. That wasn't the purpose to try and work out what was good or what was bad. The purpose is to work out how to reduce the damage, whichever tyres you've got on your vehicle. So then we went and got ourselves a spike. Now this is probably worse than any damage you should encounter in the bush. A steel spike that we could bolt down that could be consistent. We could put each tyre on and drive it back and forth until it damaged and then work out how to reduce the damage. Now how do we do it? Simple as tyre pressures. Now we're going to show you how that works, but before we do, let me show you the theory behind it. And the theory is, less pressure in the tyre, less damage. I'll show you what I mean. If anyone's had to cut a tyre, this is how you do it. You bend it down until it bulges out, as though it's got lots of pressure in it, and then you cut through the sidewalk. And even then, it's damn hard. But try cutting through it without any pressure in it. The, the, the least amount of pressure, the harder it is to cut. Damn hard, almost impossible to go through it. Well, that's the theory. Now, let's show you the practice and uh, see how it works. We started at 38 PSI. Let's have a look across the line. Cooper STT, Cooper ST. Both took two passes to punch the tyre. The original passenger carcass construction, Grand Trek and Jeweler, one pass only. Then we dropped 10 PSI out down to 28. Have a look at that. We've gone to nine passes on the STT, two on, three on the ST, and again only one pass each on the passenger construction. Then we dropped another four PSI. It took 15 passes on the STT, it increased to five passes on the ST, but still first go on the passenger construction, Grand Trek and Jeweler. We had to get down to 20 PSI to really reduce the damage. Of course, we got no punches on the STT. It took 16 times to puncture the ST, which is a light truck carcass, but it took two times to puncture either the Grand Trek or the Desert Jeweler. Well, that's twice as good as what it was before. Then we dropped four more PSI out, down to 16 pound. Well, we got no punches in either of the Coopers, and you can see from the results, we actually did it 25 times and still no puncture at 16 PSI. Of course, the Grand Trek and the Jeweler, it took four passes on each one to get a flat. But look at the difference. We're talking four times more puncher resistant. So think about that. You need to be down around 20 to 16 PSI in really tough country where you're going to get a lot of damage, and it'll improve your chances dramatically. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, what about sidewall damage? Look how much the tyre bulges when the pressure's down. Well, we decided to test that too. We use the same spike. We use it on the passenger carcass tyres and the heavy-duty Cooper light truck carcass. We lowered the tyres to the same pressures we did when we did the centre of the tyre puncture test. And guess what? No damage. Even at the lowest pressures, we passes on each tyre and couldn't get it to damage the sidewall. Now this just proved to us that you get less damage on the sidewalls if you lower those pressures, less damage to the centre of the tread if you lower the pressures. And it's, the sidewalls are less vulnerable than you think.